Hello friends, welcome back to another video of automation testing in Sarah. So today I'm going to talk about an important topic that is shift left testing in agile methodology. So what do you mean by shift left testing? So shift left testing is uh, nothing but when we do the testing as early as possible in so uh, software development life cycle is called shift left testing. So let me give you an example. So let's say this is the duration of my project. This is the starting of the software development uh, which is point A uh, from the requirement analysis and this is the end point of software development life cycle which is the release of the software to the customer. So this is the entire duration of the software. So what happens in shift left testing is we'll move, we'll try to move the testing as early as possible in the software development life cycle. So here in this case this is the point A and this is point B. So we'll move towards point A at the beginning of the software development life cycle. So this is shift left testing. So I'll take you to my uh, uh, system guys where we'll talk about like why we go for shift left testing and what was the problem in earlier software development life cycle when we uh, don't uh, when we didn't perform shift left testing. And I'll also talk about like uh, how to move towards shift left testing and what are the benefits of shift left testing. So let's get started. So guys, let's talk about shift left testing in agile. So before I proceed with shift left testing, let me just talk about like uh, what happens in earlier, how we do the testing in earlier software development models. So take an example, traditional software development model, how the testing is carried out in earlier software development model. So take an example of waterfall model. So we have different phases in waterfall model, like we have requirement analysis and feasibility study. We have design design then coding then we have testing release and at last we have maintenance so these are the different phases are involved in traditional software development model like waterfall model now here if you see this diagram, testing is carried out just before the release. So testing is just before the release. So release would be delayed in case if you get the uh, some issues, right? Just before the release. So in, in case if you get any issues or defects, so we won't go for release until those defects were fixed. So that is the biggest problem in this approach. Now how it looks like like uh, if you draw a chart between between testing in this axis let's say this is text testing and this is software development life cycle so we have requirement analysis here design coding testing and release so earlier testing will be like this we put effort testing effort just before the release here you can see that this is testing so what are the different drawbacks when we follow this approach right so in case if you get the issues like defects just before the release of the software so that will uh, take time to fix those defects so these are the points so we get unexpected unexpected issues just before the release since we are doing the testing at later stage we may get unexpected issues and will take time to fix those issues so cost will be increased increase in the cost uh, cost will be increased and then uh, delivery time will be more delivery time it takes more delivery time correct because since we uh, need some time to fix those defects so definitely the i mean it it increase the time to uh, deliver the software to the market or to the customer so this is the different uh, like this is about the the traditional approach when we follow the waterfall model or any other software development model so this is the different problems we face when you follow this approach now what happens why we go for shift left testing the question arises here is why we go for shift left testing so 
basically what do you mean by shift left testing so it is a practice intended to find and prevent defects early in the software development life cycle software development life cycle process so we do the testing as early as possible so let me just draw a diagram like we have created the uh, draw the chart earlier so here we have this testing and this is my software development life cycle so we do the testing we do the we put the testing effort as early as possible so later on we we do the less testing we not uh, i mean later we no need to do a lot of testing effort later later stage of software development life cycle since we have already put so much effort at the beginning of the software development life cycle and uh, during this phase only we find so many defects and get them fixed from the development team so this is the biggest advantage of shift left testing now question comes here is how to move towards shift left testing so how to move next point is how to move to shift left testing so we have couple of uh, frameworks guys so we have tdd if you have heard about tdd and bdd so tdd is nothing but the test driven development and bdd is behavior driven development so what happens in tdd is we first write the test cases and based on that we implement uh, the software right implement the coding later on later stage based on our test cases like what so it is this framework is driven by the test that is tdd so we have started testing from the beginning like we have written the test cases and later on software is getting developed uh, later on later stage so in that case uh, we put the testing at beginning of the software development life cycle and bdd is a is an extension of uh, TDD which is behavior driven development so BDD is nothing but where we write uh, our testing steps or uh, scenarios in plain English language American language probably you might have heard that and so this is about TDD, TDD and BDD guys and already I have covered in my BDD Kudumbar framework series so please go to my playlist and talk uh, I mean you can learn so much about TDD and BDD now if we talk about uh, different things which we do when we uh, when we talk about uh, like how we move towards shift left testing so different things includes like uh, we create test plan test plan and test strategy document very early in the software development life cycle strategy so test plan is nothing but a document which has a scope uh, which defines the scope and objective of the test and uh, approach so it is a document which defines scope objective and approach of the testing and how testing should be done is carried out in test strategy document so anyway guys don't worry about test plan and test strategy i'll cover them in coming videos so the first thing is test plan and we'll create the test strategy document now the second is static testing we do static testing so this is nothing but the verification so already i have covered verification so if you haven't watched uh, the verification part verification and validation so please go uh, about go to the playlist and watch verification and validation video so we do a lot of effort on static testing like we do inspection walkthrough so these are some static testing methods so we do all these things at the beginning of the software development life cycle now we create unified unified test strategy strategy document so what happens is here is uh, we'll talk about we we'll write about unit testing to acceptance testing all the levels of testing carried out in this test strategy document like uh, how it should be done all those things will be carried out in this uh, particular document now, another thing is risk based analysis risk based analysis so it is carried out to determine likelihood likelihood of uh, failure for each test scenarios which we have written earlier 
so and uh, this test because we have already created test plan test strategy and test cases so we can prioritize our test cases which one we should execute first so this is about the risk based related uh, analysis so these are the different things which we follow when we move towards shift left testing now what else remaining now we need to discuss about what are the benefits when we follow this shift left testing testing benefits so the first thing is it enhances the customer experience enhance customer uh, customer experience so we regularly get the feedback from the customer so it enhances the customer experience and uh, scope for the implementation of test automation as well so that is uh, and another thing is before that uh, we find the defects find defects early early in the life cycle so that is one of the uh, advantage and the cost will be less less cost and test coverage it increases this test coverage test coverage because we have started the testing from the beginning so it the coverage will be more in this approach and what else uh, delivery speed will be more delivery of the software delivery speed more and uh, what else yeah uh, automation scope for automation scope for automation why because since we start the testing from the beginning of the software development life cycle so uh, it enhances the scope for the automation because build gets disabled uh, gets stable at that particular point of time when we go for automation so it enhances the scope for automation and uh, what else we have it increases the quality it increases the quality of the software quality of the software so these are the different benefits when we follow shift left testing guys and yeah one more is less production issues the head point less production issues so i talked about eight different advantages of shift left testing so first one is enhance customer experience find defects early second the less cost test coverage will be more delivery speed is more scope for automation increase the increases the quality and less production issues so these are the different advantages of shift left testing yeah so this is all about shift left testing guys so this is an important topic i wanted to discuss so in case if you have any issues or uh, if you find any if you have any questions then please write me back uh, please put in the comment box and uh, yeah please like share this video and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye